Hello everybody and welcome back to the Yes Epic Yes channel. Today we are going to be showing you the fact that you can buy fake fragrances fairly cheaply and get basically the exact same smell. So today I have bought a Hugo Boss Orange which is on eBay. I can't remember the price, but I think it was fairly cheap. I have the real fragrance myself. It is in there and I will be bringing it out and we'll be comparing the two. Basically, this is just an online purchase that is very obviously fake. They claim it's real, but it's very obviously a fake purchase. It isn't expensive. And we just want to show you that this can be bought online and that a lot of this is just simply chemical composure and that there's no real point in wasting your money on branded stuff. You know, your Hugo Bosses and your Chanel's and all of these that these really do just do. So this is highly packaged. I think it came from the UK, but I believe it must be originally Chinese. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll get the eBay listing up in a little bit once we actually unbox this thing. I have been waiting now for a good couple of weeks for this. I'm very glad that it's finally here. A lot of packaging straight off. Let's get that out. And there is the Hugo Boss Orange, as you can see. And I will get a closer picture of that up on the camera. Looks fairly legit, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty real. Opening it up, nothing suspicious. Looks like a fairly new packaging, looks like fairly Genuine packaging. This is exactly the same as the original in case anybody doesn't know even ooh. I would personally be quite a big fan of men's fragrances with Hugo Boss They add just a little a little curve on the glass and it's 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 very nice straight off. It smells Pretty good smells like the real Mm-hmm definitely maybe the ever so slightest bit stronger in the alcohol smell but generally generally they smell pretty damn similar let me go ahead and get the real one that i have inside and we can just compare the two this right here is the older model hugo boss themselves have changed their packaging as you can see very similarly even just from the shine there's a metal piece on the original one and there isn't on the new one but they are both almost identical in every way and we'll go with this wrist they smell almost the exact same. There's literally no difference. This is fake, right? <laughs> it even has the stamping. It even has the numbers. So, not that you guys can see this, but there's little numbers in there that are sort of like barcodes. They're not barcodes, but they're like certification, they're item numbers. I'm pretty sure that this was cheap. Let me, let me go and just, let me just go and make sure. My eBay purchases. <laughs> that is that, but that's not what I thought I paid. That is the real price. That's like over 80. That's more than the real price. That's like double the real price. How? Oh, I know how exactly how I made that. How I made that mistake. I put the item into watching and went into the listing and looked at similar items and saw the one for 80. And I questioned why it was so damn much. So I put it into watching as well. And obviously, because I put both of them in within the same hour, they were both right on top of each other. And I thought I clicked on the cheaper one. And because I have one-time payment with PayPal, it just instantly does it. I went and bought the much more expensive, even than new one, instead of the fake. This is the real Hugo Boss. This is double the price that I was meant to pay, or if you went into a fragrance shop, you would pay. And this is not a fake, which is why it smells so damn similar. And now that I've opened it and have quite obviously used it, I doubt I will be able to refund it. Uh... Man, do I feel like an idiot. Right, I don't really know what to say. 
I'm very disappointed in myself. I should know better than this. I've been spending a lot of time with online shopping. I've been spending, like, me or parent have been online shopping for literally years. I shouldn't make such stupid mistakes. And I spent double. By the way, the fragrance that I was actually looking at was around what I thought. It was about 10 to 15 euro, depending on shipping charges, which is insanely cheap and not what you buy for. It's 25% what you'd normally pay for it. These bottles are usually around between 40 and 60. 60 being the most expensive if you went into a shop and 40 if you just went and bought it online. So nothing I can say. I didn't get scammed, I did this myself. I do feel scammed because they listed it a lot more expensive than they should have, but I bought it. I don't know what to say, except <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Now I have a Hugo Boss that's more expensive. I don't know whether or not it was said recently enough, but we did get our monetization back. Just to let you all aware of that, our Patreon, I still believe is up. If you want to go down and have a look at it, you're very welcome to, but we do have our monetization back now, which is nice. So hopefully we can maybe pay for this. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do consider giving it a like. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and turn on the post bell notifications. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.